What's up YouTube? This video is brought to you by Webull. If you'd like to help out the channel and get two free stocks, make sure you check out my link below. Hey, I'm Chris Sane. If you're new here, I make videos on personal finance, how to invest and build wealth through the stock market. Today's video is about NAT and whether or not it's to buy. But before we get into that, make sure you leave me a comment below so I can add you to the next video as well as don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. Without further ado, let's hop into my portfolio. As you can see, my portfolio is currently sitting at $28,899.33. We had a hell of a day in the stock market, up over 2.5%. Even after hours were up a little bit as well. On the week, as you guys can see, I'm up almost 3%. On the month, I am up over 15.5%. And if I take you guys three months out, I'm up almost 10%. I teach on this channel how to invest the right way to invest and what entry points you wanna buy stocks at to crush it every day in the stock market, regardless of a recession. So if you like this video, make sure you subscribe to the channel because I'm gonna teach you how to build wealth with a small portfolio. Today's video is about NAT. And I wanna talk to you guys about what to do if you wanna double your earnings in this stock. We're going to jump into my portfolio real quick and hop down here right into NAT. As you see, NAT, ticker symbol NAT, Nordic American Tankers is $4.46 currently. I got a dividend coming, but before I talk to you guys about the dividend, as you can see, I currently hold a small position in this of 31 shares, and my average cost is $4.54. Okay, so I made this video, man, because I wanted to really teach you guys on how to play this stock. You must know that the USO goes up, this stock goes down, and vice versa. When this stock goes down, USO goes up. And so it's important to pay attention to what's going on with the Saudis as well as what's happening in the broader markets. But what I wanna to talk to you guys about today is this right here. I get asked the question all the time, how come NAT stock hasn't moved? The reason why it hasn't moved is two things that you guys gotta pay attention to that I don't hear people talking about in none of their analysis. But check this out. The stock market as well as NAT is forward moving. So with that being said, when we made the announcement to open the economy, you guys gotta play this from a standpoint of common sense. If the economy is open and nobody is no longer storing oil, NAT and what they were built on no longer is in position to make the killing that they were set up to make. However, don't panic because better days are on the way. And so this is how I want you to play this stock if you wanna crush it in your position in this. In the summer, mainly July and August, we will have a potential pullback. Yes, the market is running rapid right now, it's disconnected from reality, but in July and possibly August, when the pullback happens, remember I told you guys, when USO goes up, NAT goes down. So when USO goes down, NAT goes up. And so if you are holding your position like we're holding right now, currently sitting at $4.46, or in my case, an average cost of $4.54. All we're gonna do leading up to when the stock gonna shoot up again is continue to average down. I get asked the question all the time about what is averaging down. Averaging down is this. If you guys look, my average cost is $4.54. Nat is currently sitting at $4.46. And so as you can see, my total return on in general, I'm down negative $2.48. So what averaging down is this, you buy five shares at 446. When it drops to 444 tomorrow, you buy 10 shares. When it drops to 420, you buy 20 shares. And so now you get you a position established. I always recommend a small position is 25 stocks. And so if you ain't playing with 25 or more stocks, you just playing around with the stock. You gotta get you 25 shares minimum. And then you employ what I'm about to teach you right here. And then I don't care if you got in at six, I don't care if you sold off and you, and you still hold on to a few shares, start averaging down right now in June, cause we are preparing for August turnaround. Okay, and so by that time, 
uh, you will have, you need a hundred shares by August. So I don't care how you get there, but get your hundred shares established, if not more by August. So when the pullback happens and Nat shoots up, now you double your money. It's just that simple, guys. Listen, man, I tell you guys all the time about where to buy stock setters. So if you don't follow me on this channel, make sure you do. Make sure you subscribe because I only make a killing with a small portfolio because I own every stock at the best possible price you can get them at. And so that takes studying, that takes understanding the stock, but more importantly, that takes understanding how the market moves. And so if you are not bull, I need you to average down in this stock at the price points I just shared with you so that you can have your 100 shares ready when August come and we come roaring back. And if it come back before the end, that's even better. But by August, have your position established so we can hit the ground running and make a killing and possibly double our money and do what we do. Now for the question of the day, it comes from DeMario. And his question is, what do you recommend a starting amount in the stock market? So listen, guys, I get this question all the time. DeMario, I appreciate the question. Appreciate you for commenting. What is a great starting point when starting off in the stock market? Again, that's one of the number one questions I get from a lot of new and beginning investors. And I'm gonna tell you guys like this, that question or my answer depends on your budget, okay? And so everybody comes into the stock market with a different goal, with a different vision, with a different purpose. And so for me, I often say, you guys know, pay off your debt, have your bills paid, and whatever you got left over after you take care of your priorities, that's what you invest into the stock market. However, when it comes to what's a good starting point, I sometimes teach it in stocks. Meaning, I might say, if you kinda like a stock, buy one share. If you like it a little bit more, buy five shares. If it's a stock you got high hopes in, get 10 shares. If it's something like this, like NAT, buy a minimum of 25 shares to 100 shares, okay? Now, again, your budget will determine whether or not you can afford that or not, but I never try to tell a specific dollar amount that you need to start investing. You guys know we've been playing a wrong game for far too long. And so in my community and to my people, I'm telling us to get started right away with however much you got, no matter how much it is. So listen, man, I make videos like this every week. And so if you like this one, make sure you check out the next one. Remember, most people see the end result. Very few consider the journey. Do me a favor. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. Make sure you grab some free stock using my link below. And I'll see you guys in the next one.